On our previous episode of Fresh and Fruity at Kibes Farm, we did learn how to make the nursery for runners, preparing the runner cup and growing them. If you happen to miss the episode, here is a recap. The reason you're starting um, putting the runner in the plastic cup, okay? Because you use the plastic cup because what you want, you want the runner to make sure you're able to see the roots at the end of the day, okay? So what we do, we take the runner itself, okay? Plant it in the plastic cup, okay? Then you're going to let it root for two weeks. So the runner is going to feed from the mother to the child through the umbilical cord. That runner part is what they call the umbilical cord. Now, your runner is going to be in the cup for two weeks. So, so. so after two weeks, you detach the runner from the mother plant. Now you can actually transplant it or resell it at the end of the day. You have to make sure that your soil in the cup has enough manure, okay? And the best manure to use is a cow, sheep or goat manure. For this process of the runner, you don't need to use chicken manure because chicken manure is very acidic. And the way chicken, chicken manure is very acidic is because chicken do not urinate, okay? That hence making it very acidic. Now if you plant the young runner inside the cup with chicken manure, it's going to burn off and it's going to die. Lamb preparation is crucial in all crop and fruit production. It aids in giving the crop an ample ground to grow and have the right nutrients. Kibe highlights that the correct spacing, width and length is important in getting maximum yield production on your strawberry farm. Mm. When you're preparing your when you're preparing your strawberry beds, okay, the most important thing, make sure you prepare your bed and it must, must have a dome shape at the end of the day. Now preparing is very simple. You've already identified where you want. And now remember, the mixture that you're going to do here on your bed, okay? It's either soil and manure is going to be a ratio of either one is to one or one is to three. Three being the manure, okay? Now the best manure to use, it's either cow, sheep, or goat manure. The length of the bed is up to you, okay? The length of the bed is up to you. Now remember this, the longer the bed, the more ceilings you're going to have, and the shorter the bed, the less ceilings you're going to have, okay? Now, width-wise, Upano Akitanda, the length of the bed is up to you, okay? Four feet is the maximum width of the bed. And Darudia Tena, four feet is the maximum width Upano Akitanda. Tafadhali na nakusi tafadhali. Do not do five feet tafadhali. But you can do four, you can do three, you can do two. But do not do five. Why? Because, you see, the spacing from one plant to the other is 30 squared centimeters. Okay? Nakama ukona kitanda ya four feet. Okay? Utakuwa na four rows. Ukikiwa na kitanda ya five feet, utakuwa na five rows. Ukiwa upando mungino wa kitanda, unata kufikia uo mwamboko katikati. Itabidu sasa ukuju kanyage kitanda ya nyewe. And as nikisema, you're not allowed to step inside the bed. You kanyage kitanda, you make the soil to be very hard at the end of the day. Okay? So, four feet is the maximum width of the bed. Now, when you're mixing your soil and manure, I said you can either do a ratio of one is to one or one is to three. Now here's what, here's what actually how it happens. One is to one can mean one bucket of manure to one foot of the length of the bed, okay? If you do a ratio of one is to three, one meter to three wheelbarrows of manure. Now be very careful, do you know feet and meters? Feet, tatumia, bucket. And I say bucket, I mean bucket at 20 kgs. Three, ni wheelbarrows, because three is going to one meter. So by they need to be very, very categorical about it. One foot, one bucket of manure, yeah, 20 kgs. Again, your ratio, one is to one, one is to three, one, um, one meter to three wheelbarrows of manure. Remember, either cow, sheep, or goat, manure. Till the land to remove weeds and harrow to break the big clods of soil. Then add some manure, either rabbit, sheep, goat or cow dung. Add ash to ensure a healthy supply of potassium nutrients 
to your crop, Kibe illustrates further. Now, when you're making your bed, umechanganya vizuri, make sure your bed has a dome shape. Na kutengeneza dome shape is very simple. Eh? From one end, kuja upande mwingine, and chimba. And remember, when you've mixed your soil and manure very well, eh? do it very well. Now, easy mambo ya kubahatisha hapa. Okay? Now, as you can see, tuko na dome shape hapa. Okay? But now, our dome shape is kind of too high. Okay? So what you need to do now, kama huna rake, just use your normal tools and just turn level the bed. You can see we still have our dome shape intact now. Now it's a gradual dome shape at the end of the day. Okay? Now Najua kulimu wengi sana umetuuliza mambo ya kutumia karatasi lakini sisi tunatumia karatasi ambayo inatangwa plastic because hii method inaitwa plastic culture method. Now if you're in an area that is hot kama uko upande ambao kuna joto jingi you need to use karatasi that is silver on top. Sababu ya silver paper on top is to reflect heat away. And I mean upande kuna joto ni kama matunguli for example, machakos, earth river, kitengela kiserian okay kama in an area that is cold kama Overo, limuru okay loresho kabete roiro kimbo ikambura mpaka utumie the black paper okay because the black paper kile unataka nayo during the day wakati kuna kiangazi is going to absorb heat na ki absorb heat na usiku your plants continue growing okay now Karatasi yenyewe must be heavy gauge paper. Okay? Must be heavy gauge paper. In case you buy light gauge paper, itakuja ichome na jua, ianze kurarukana. Na ikiraruka, that becomes another cost. Because kumbuka hivi, once we lay the paper on our beds, it's going to be in the bed for the next two and a half years to three years. Because that's the that's lifespan of the strawberry plant itself. Okay? Two and a half years to three years. So an kama uko na karatasi mbaya the poor quality paper itaruka within 6 months then you have to replace it again again unnecessary cost so i'll just take my pvc paper okay nikuje ni tandaze juu hivyo come and lay it on top like this now as you can see it has formed a very nice dome shape at the end of the day. Now, recommendation number one. Mepoto wa kulimu wengi sana mbwa nakuja na chukua vijitu wana vidungilia hapo kwa kwenye karatasi hiko. But if you ask me the best way to do it, you see now the how your bed looks like. Okay? You need to make a trench right here around your bed that is half a foot deep. Okay? Show you practically. Make a trench around your bed that is half a foot deep. Now, when you are Lisa, what is the purpose of your trench? It's easier shown than said. So, I'll take my paper. Put my paper right inside the trench. Then, get umchanga ni reduce the time. Okay. Now always make sure the karatasi is firm and stretched nicely. So 
what was the purpose of your trench? Is to tuck in the paper, okay? And by tucking in the paper, we are going to prevent water loss from the sides. So, karatasi yako, takuja, ufunike hivi juu pia. So, make a trench around your bed that is half a foot deep to tuck in the entire karatasi. There we go. The bed is fully made. Now, comes to planting. When you are planting our strawberries on our beds, okay, the spacing between one hole and the other is 30 squared centimeters. Basically, ile rule ya hako, okay? From one hole to the other is 30 squared centimeters. Now, in our sample here, the easiest way to make the holes, just use scissors, okay? So get your scissors. Make a hole. Tena tafadhali jichunge usijikate. Unajua kulima asali ikwe, needs to be very fun when you're doing it. Okay? So, I've made my hole. So let's see if I maybe count 30 centimeters, it's another hole, planting hole. So make a hole like this. Um, give or take, yes. Okay, there we go. Beautifully done. After preparing the bed and making the planting holes with the correct spacing, the bed is now ready for transplanting for the runners. Here's my runner, okay? Fully developed and the roots all the way to the bottom. That's when you know the runners are ready for planting. So what I need to do next, do not use this stick. See this stick is very thin, okay? To get a bit of a thick stick like this, okay? One that you can hold comfortably. Lucky enough, I was able to get one that actually has a handle here, okay? So, first things first, prepare your bed. Secondly, make holes on top of the paper, then plant. Chances are very high to find preparation of the buyer sana. It's going to become detrimental for you at the end of the day. Okay? Kwa hivyo, bed kotari, my ceiling is ready. So we're going to plant this runner right here. And you see how simple it is to plant. Something else. You know how we are used to planting trees and they come in the plastic, black paper, right? We're used to cutting off the paper, throw it away, then plant our seedling, right? But you see here what you do, Nakonga very particular about cost. Literally, Nanyonga Pesa, okay? So this cup, how to say you could kikombe tena, okay? We're going to remove the seedling from the cup itself and plant it. Because the same cup, yes, it costs two shillings. Two shillings to you, it's nothing. Someone else, it's everything, okay? And I go for the everything kind of people. That two bob is a lot of money for me, okay? So, we're going to remove the ceiling from the cup. And again, hapa kuna any magic at all. So, back to my planting. So take my seedling, make a hapo, then get my stick, then make a hole right at the bottom. Then I want you to see this. I'm going to move front, back, left, right. How again? Front, back, left, right. Now the reason I'm doing this is so that your shimo is big enough. Then remove the stick. Notice I'm twisting my stick, Nikikuja, Ju. I need to probably start asking, how deep is this cup? How, how, how deep does the, the, the hole goes? Basically, the height of this cup. You're not squeezing toothpaste eh? from the face to tube. Eh? So gently just do this. Just press as you go around the plant. So this hand is pressing, this other hand is taking it round like this. Okay. Okay, which is good. So the reason you're doing that so that the soil hook on the end eh? So take my two fingers, wrap my entire plant like that. Flip. 
Okay, press juu kidogo. Chilia chilia kidogo. Then you bring the cup up. And there you have it. So, my cup is ready for my next runner to be planted. No wastage here. Okay? And now, you can see how the root structure of the plant is. Two weeks, two weeks after that, after planting. This I can guarantee you 98% good success with it. The other 2% is how you're doing your land preparation, how you're doing your watering. Okay? So I take my cup, sorry, take my seedling, put it inside the soil like that, then reduce your mchanga hivyo. And after that, kakunyo uji, because I'm done. <laughs>